Queen's Amber Dolphins, welcome to our first broadcast of the year. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. This year's theme for the Mother Sun Dance was superhero extravaganza. It was so cool seeing everybody dress up in their superhero costumes. We saw Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and many more tearing it up on the dance floor. Thanks to our awesome DJ. When they were doing Fortnite dances, they were designing their own masks or playing Loteria with their mom. Shouting out to Miss May for the fun sing along. We had a blast. Special thanks to Miss Santiago, PTA, and parent volunteers for making this happen. This year's Red Ribbon Week theme is remember to be kind to your mind and live drug free. The theme is a reminder that everyday Americans across the country make significant daily contributions to their communities by being the best they can be because they live drug free. We supported Red Ribbon Week by wearing all types of things to show resistance against drug use. Thank you to Ms. Jessica and all the student council for all your hard work in organizing Red Ribbon Week. We kicked off our annual Harvest Parade. Teachers and students walked around the lunch benches to showcase their costumes. I saw so many great and unique costumes. Which one was your favorite? I don't know. I really like all the costumes. Honestly, they were super great. Me too. It was a great show. Here are some great pictures we took at the parade. Dolphins. My name is Ashton McQuan and today on Denver TV we have a very special interview with our student council directors, Ms. Baye and Ms. Parmar. Hi Dolphins. So, what inspired you to create Denver Student Council? Um, I think Ms. Parmar and I, we've worked together for many years and we ran student council together, gosh, 20 years ago or so at another school. And I think we just love to see the students get involved, um, take leadership roles, give back to the younger kids at the school, um, just give them something positive to be a part of that they can take on to junior high and high school and get involved in ASB over there. Also, what what like advice do you have for other kids that are aspiring to join student council in the future? I would say even if you're hesitant about it, I think you should give it a try. Um, also talk to the other student council reps and see how they feel um, and get an idea of what they do throughout the year. And I think that's something that you should try your to get involved with because it's the best way to be involved with your school, get to know the teachers, the staff, the other students as well, and you get to help out, which is always a good feeling when you're helping out others. Last question, what were some challenges that you guys have had to overcome in the past? I think one of the hardest things about running student council is having to make the decision of who is gonna get on student council. Mm -hmm. We have so many amazing kids. This year we have 24 students on student council and co-presidents because we have so many amazing students here that want to be leaders and come out and, um, and apply and give speeches. So I think the hardest part for me, the biggest challenge has been having to tell some students, not this year, but to get them to keep on trying. I don't know yeah, because we're hoping that, you know, um, maybe next year they'll have that opportunity. Because also this year as well, some of the students that didn't get on last year were able to get on this year, which was kind of a nice feeling. The other thing I would say is also time, because we're only allocated, you know, a certain time of school time, and we don't want to take away, you know, out of the classroom as well. So it's just a matter of like, I feel like we could do a lot more, but just because of our time frame, I feel like we can't do as much as we would like to do. Yep, that's true. Thank you very much for that interview, and we'll see you all later. All right. Thank you. It's a great day to be a dolphin. It's a great day to be a dolphin. Don't forget, winter break will be from December 22nd to January 5th. Have, have a happy, happy holiday, holiday dolphins. dolphins. Well, that wraps it up for Danbrook TV. We hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. And remember, it's a great day to be a dolphin.